Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this PDB F7 mini flight controller stack onto this drone frame guys. In addition to that, I will also tell you how to connect the motors onto the mini 35 ampere ESC that came along with this stack guys. In my previous videos guys, I've already done an in-depth review and unboxing of this PDB F7 mini flight controller and this iFlight 1404 motors and this Beta FPV Beta 95X Cinevope drone frame guys if you have not seen those videos guys I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out So guys if you are new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel Please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos Let's get started so guys, before we can start with the installation, let me walk you through on how I'm going to connect all these components together, guys. As you know, guys, whenever you purchase PDB F7 mini flight controller, guys, it comes with this micro GST connector, guys, so as to be able to connect your flight controller onto your ESC, guys. So as you can see, guys, there are two GST connections, guys. This GST connector will connect these two GST connections so as to send the motor control from flight controller onto ESC and get the telemetry back onto your flight controller so that is what it is used for guys I will put this aside for now second thing is your capacitor guys so the capacitor as you know guys is 450 microfarad 35 volt capacitor guys here you can see it has a marking this marking terminal guys is a negative terminal and the other one is positive so that is how you know guys in addition to that you can also see there is a difference in the length of the nodes guys so as to be able to identify the positive and negative terminal negative one is short and positive is longer as you can see guys onto your ESC here you can see there are two holes that is where you install the capacitor guys so the positive terminal goes to positive terminal of the ESC guys and the negative to the negative this is the place where you have the power supply guys you install this capacitor so as to have the reduced back EMF which is generated by the ESC and have a smooth power supply so it is super important guys to install this capacitor onto the input power supply of your ESC guys and at the same time guys the polarity is also important so positive goes to positive and negative goes to negative so that is how we are going to install in addition to that guys here you can see it comes with XT30 battery connector guys so as to be able to connect your external battery to power this ESC and flight controller guys here you have red and black wire guys coming out of this XT30 pin connector guys so the red one goes to positive and the black one goes to negative so that is how you are going to install this in addition to that guys whenever you install this ESC onto your drone frame guys there is a way you can install here you can see onto the ESC you have marking with numbers onto each pad so there are three wires to connect to each motor guys and each padding is marked with a number number one two three and four so these numbers are corresponding to the motor guys the correct way to install this ESC is to align your drone frame in the flying position or top position so since this is a Cinevope guys so it will fly like this and this is the front side of the drone frame and this is the back side guys so the numbering will go from bottom left side guys is your motor one and then two and then three and then four guys so that is how the counting goes so as to install the motor in the correct position guys so that your flight controller knows which motor is at which position although guys you can swap the motors in the firmware but it is always good practice to install the motor in the correct number guys so that you don't have to do an extra configuration so as to install the motor in the right numbers guys so guys even if you install motor number one and connect it to motor number four guys in the firmware you can swap it and call it number one so that flight controller knows the position of the motors guys so that you can do guys and also guys since this is Pell heli s esc guys you can always change the direction of rotation of the motor guys using the software or if you want to uh, do it by the way of hardware guys all you need to do is swap any two pads of the three wires guys so as to reverse the direction if it is spinning in the wrong direction in my future videos guys i will tell you in detail how to know which is the right direction guys and how to update the direction of rotation of the motor guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so that is how guys you're going to install the esc onto the motors guys and connect it and then guys you can see onto the back side guys there is a space that is the place guys where i'm going to install the flight controller guys like this 
this and so as to point the GST onto the front direction and my ESC will be also installed like this guys so that your GST to GST is not that far so as to be able to connect it using the GST connection that came along with it guys. So that is how I'm going to install guys here onto the back side there are M2 holes guys to install this ESC. Here guys you do not have any mounting holes for 20 mm stack guys so I will be using the cover guys to do custom holes on this cover so as to be able to hold the ESC onto the drone frame guys. So that is how we are going to install it. So guys let's quickly start soldering the pads and connect the motors onto the correct numbering guys. As always guys let's quickly tin the pads that we are going to use. So let's tin all of the ports guys which we are going to use to solder the wires onto the ESC guys. So as you can see guys, I have successfully soldered all the motor pads here guys. Now let's quickly install the capacitor guys. So the same way guys, as I have told you before, positive goes to positive and negative goes to negative. So the long one is positive and the short one is negative. So that is how we are going to install it. So it's going to be almost like this. So that it stays on to the center and not too far so that is how guys I am going to install the capacitor so let's quickly solder that too so guys my capacitor is soldered as well so guys now let's quickly solder the motor wires so as to be able to connect it to the motors. So guys as you can see since we have soldered all the motor pads guys and connected the capacitor I have also connected the power connector guys so as to be able to connect the battery. The red wire goes to the positive and the black wire goes to negative so that is how we have connected. So when you place it onto the drone frame guys I am going to place it like this so that my power wire is facing onto the back as there is a hole onto the top side of the frame guys that is where you can insert the power wire and it will stay onto the top so as to be able to connect it to the battery that you are going to install it onto the top side of the drone frame so that is why guys this wire has to be facing onto the bottom side guys so that is how we are going to install it in addition to that guys here you can see the numbering goes from one two three and four since this is my motor number one guys i'm going to install these wires onto the number one pad guys and these wires onto number two so it has to be crisscrossed guys in addition to that guys i will install all these wires from the inner side of these pad guys so that my wire stays neat and clean guys so that is how guys i'm going to install the esc but as you can see guys these wires are pretty long guys so we need to cut it down to make it short so that you do not have a clutter of the wires guys and then we will start soldering so let's cut the wire by measuring the length of the wire which is needed to connect it to the ESC guys so let's place the ESC first to its almost the position where it should be and then giving it some slack guys and then cut the wires guys so you don't have to be perfect guys just give enough slack guys so as to be able to connect these wires onto the pads easily so this is the place guys where I am going to cut it. So let's cut the wire guys. And similarly guys I will cut all the wires and then solder the tip guys so as to be able to connect it onto the pads. Let's quickly do that and come back. So guys as you can see I have 
cut down the wires to its length as I would require to solder it onto the ESC guys. In addition to that guys, to each wire I have put down a shrink cable cover uh, so that the cable management is not that messy and they stay together. I will shrink it later when I am done with the soldering guys. So as I have told you before guys, this is motor number one and this is the pad number one onto the front. So these wires will go crisscross. Back one will go onto the front and the front one will go onto the back. That will happen on the both side guys. So let's quickly solder the wires onto the ESC. Before we do that, let's keep the other wires out of the way guys so as to be able to solder the wires properly. So guys using the tweezer, I will be able to hold the wires and solder it onto each patch. So let's quickly do that. So as I have told you before guys, the sequence of the wires on the pad doesn't matter since we are following the correct sequence guys that should not be a problem so let's quickly solder the wire as required on to each pad so let's solder it quickly one by one So the first wire is soldered, let's do the second one the same way. And the third one guys. So as you can see guys, all three wires are now soldered. Let's quickly solder all the four motors guys in the same way and we will come back so guys as you can see i have now soldered all the wires onto the esc guys this wire is going on to the pad number one this is going to pad number two this is going to pad number three and this is going to pad number four so that is how guys i have soldered all the wire guys so when you turn it on to the other side guys this becomes motor number one two three and four so that is how guys you need to connect the esc now let's quickly connect the flight controller onto this drone frame guys so guys to install the flight controller guys there are a few things that need to take care first thing guys as you would notice there is an arrow marked onto the flight controller guys this arrow should be pointing onto the front side of the drone guys so that is how guys this flight controller will know which is front and which is back so which is why you have an arrow marked here guys this should be pointed onto the front side onto the back side as well guys you can see here there is an arrow marked it is pointing in the same direction as previous arrow guys so ensure that guys these arrows are pointing onto the front side guys for me guys if I install my flight controller like this onto the back side onto this place guys this arrow is going to point onto the front so that is how I'm going to install but guys now I have a choice whether to install this flight controller facing like this or facing like this but onto this side guys since you have all the pads guys so as to be able to solder all the components I would want to keep this padding inside so that my all the wire stays inside the body of the drone frame as if I install it like this my wires will be pointing and will be pressed against the frame of the body guys which i do not want my all the wires and the mess should be inside guys so that is why i would want all the pads to be installed onto the inner side guys so i have only one choice guys since you can see the jst connection from the esc is coming onto this side and this is the jst connector so if i install my flight controller like this i will be fine guys so that is how i am going to install guys but as you can see if i install it like this guys my usb port is not accessible at the same time guys uh, there is a boot button guys which i would need to flash the firmware is also not accessible so what i will do guys since this is a plastic body guys i will cut down the plastic by heating the soldering iron guys so as to be able to make space for the switch and for the usb port and then i will install it like this using m.2 screws onto the back side of the drone frame so let me cut down the drone frame guys so as to be able to install this flight controller and we will come back so guys now i have cut down the holes here guys here you can see from here guys i will be able to access the boot button guys and here guys 
as you can see i have made a space for usb type c cable to be able to be connected onto my flight controller whenever i connect my flight controller like this so on to the top guys it will look like this on to the top so that is how guys i'm going to install the flight controller guys so guys i will be using m.2 screws that came along with this flight stack guys so as to be able to hold this flight controller to its place from the top guys we will insert the screw like this guys as you can see it's coming out so we will use all four of it so as to hold the flight controller to its place and the fourth one on to the top of the flight controller guys i will be installing the vtx so i will be leaving this like this for now guys but for today's video guys i have successfully installed my flight controller i have connected my flight controller onto esc and then i have connected all the motor wires onto this esc guys onto the top guys it will get closed like this with the cover that came along with this guys so this is how guys you connect the esc onto the motors and connect your esc onto the flight controller and attach it to the drone frame guys so this concludes this video guys in my future videos guys i will also tell you how to configure this esc how to change the direction of the motor and how to check the direction of the motor guys and everything so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so this concludes this video guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies